Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So in this session, I'm here with the transient structural analysis on the structural frame. Okay, so we have done the uh, structural analysis, the static structural analysis and the model analysis that is frequency analysis on this. And here uh, I'm going to consider the transient analysis. So uh, the main goal is to check the variable loading on this particular structural frame. Let's say if it is a model the structural frame on this we will be having the base load of around 2000 newton so with respect to the vibration i'm going to consider around 500 newton or uh, the variable load with respect to time let's say with respect to uh, like one to zero to point five second if i consider so with the time it should vary and according to that how the structure is going to behave whether it is going to fail or it is under limit uh, what would be the displacement what is the factor of safety and how the uh, structure will behave with respect to the one mass stress and all we need to calculate these here so to do that i'm going to carry out the uh, normal analysis uh, that is the transient structure analysis well let's get started with this and done the static structure analysis so i'll go with the uh, transient structure analysis from here just drag and drop it and i would like to consider the this one these models so you could see all the things will be copied up to model so i'm going to double click on this setup to carry out this uh, transient structure analysis you can do the same thing okay it is with respect to time there are non-linear analysis there are two types one is uh, with respect to time and with respect to uh, the frequency so you could see all the boundary conditions has been extracted here uh, first thing is i would like to copy these force and fixtures copy and paste it here and i'll also copy the fixture and paste it here okay the force initially is this much the load base load is uh, 1962 for this so it is uniform okay it is uh, increasing from zero to this so i'd like to have it initially the same thing 1962 would be the fixed one zero to zero it is initially fixed and now i would like to add one more so what i'll do is i'll copy this one only and i'll paste it again here this is the force too right here in the uh, value you can change it to tabular here it is also tabular right here you can change it to magnitude constant and you can enter the value if you don't want it 1962 okay the direction downwards fine this is with respect to applied load when it comes to this here in the magnitude by default it will be constant you can switch to the tabular type and here you can enter the values so initially it is zero so uh, before that i like to take the analysis settings so it is number of steps is how much you want only one i'll consider here and here the end time i'll, I'll take the 0.5 seconds okay and the uh, initial step is 0.1 second the minimum is 0.1 second the maximum time step uh, maximum also i'd like to take it 0.5 okay and here the end time is this i'll switch to the variable now here it is zero zero when it comes to point 0.1, uh, I would like to have it 492, okay. When it comes to point 0.2, it should be 0, okay. Means I'm trying to add the variable loads, okay. So when it comes to point 0.3, it should be 492. Like this, uh, you can just have the variable loads. So when it comes to point 0.5, it should be 0. Okay, like this, you can see with respect to time, it is changing. So once you define these things, you can just extract the results, what you're looking for. Let's say I need the one versus stress and the deformation. This is the initial boundary conditions. Okay, once you set it, you just need to run it. So it will take more time. So I had already run the study. So what I'll do is I'll showcase the things, how it's gonna work. Okay, this is the one. Uh, I'll just open the previously or ran study 
uh, here if I run the analysis it will take more than uh, one hour to complete that one so I had already ran the study to showcase the results for you guys yeah so you could see uh, I had applied the force initially constant 1962 and the variable load uh, 470.4 Newton timely varying okay up to 0.5 seconds the fixtures I had taken all the faces okay and then when we extract the results you could see point one it is same there is not more changes here with respect to this whatever the loading we have considered so we just wanted to check this particular uh, uh, structural frame uh, has the uh, capability to just withstand this particular variable load or it gonna failure under the particular prescribed time or not okay so same thing uh, when I go to the deformation you could see deformation also it is approximately same so the particular rectangular tube is safe enough to deal with these all the things there is no much fluctuations with respect to this loading condition and I consider this C tube for the same analysis you'll see the results here so with respect to this a fluctuating a uh, loading condition that is it might vibrate right you can even consider the random vibration analysis and the you can, you can go with the uh, harmonic analysis and random vibration okay both you can consider there well so here uh, the same thing the loading conditions are same so when i apply these kind of loadings the results you could see the deformation it has slight variations you could see 0 0.382 3 1 like this when I go to this equivalent stress, even it has the slight fluctuations, right? 32 and like this. But when it comes to the factor of safety, this is fine, but and good. It is under the range. Okay. Now, this is a one kind of nonlinear analysis here. So, if you want to deal in depth, uh, this, this is going to withstand this particular loading conditions. Okay. It is not going to fail because it is under limits. Okay. It is not crossing one means it is not less than one so your factor of safety is fine the deformation is also uh, relevantly fine for this as well so we can consider this one now again what our analysis we can do here is the uh, random vibration and harmonic analysis you can carry out to just check the uh, again psd curves and all okay if, it, if you are considering the vibrations into account whether it's going to fail or not with respect to the vibrations you can consider the uh, acceleration graph g values and all you can extract it from the frequency versus displacement steps that you're going to get it in uh uh which is that harmonic analysis and from there you can just uh, add it to the random operation okay that we can cover later on so this is how we can carry out this analysis okay so in this session we have seen how to deal with the transient analysis with respect to time the variable load if you apply that whether it's going to withstand or not so we have seen these things for this particular model i hope you understood yep so that's all about this session so in the later on session i'm going to cover other advanced uh, analysis on this particular frame yep thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone